So your book is selling pretty well in the domestic area, but you want to increase your international sales? I've got four quick and easy free tips to help you out. Stick around. Hey everybody, it's Keith Wheeler with kwheelerbooks.com and the Review Mates Facebook group. So if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make indie publishing just a little bit easier to navigate through, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever I send out new content. So with that, let's get started. So international sales. There's four quick and easy ways to increase your chances of getting international sales. So all of this is going to be free when it comes to money, but it will take time. It's basically research. The first thing you need to do is find out which countries are actually reading the type of book that you're trying to sell. If your book is not popular in a particular country, that doesn't necessarily mean not to publish it there, but understand that you're probably not going to get as many sales. So don't waste your time trying to get more sales in that particular country. Instead, focus your time and energy and money, if you have the, uh, the available funds, to better your sales in a specific country where they are actually reading your type of book. Number two, how are they reading? Is that particular country reading it mostly on ebook, paperback, or the ever growing audiobook? So many people forget about audiobooks, but audiobooks la between last year and this year have increased 35%. The year before that, they increased 25%. So in the last two years, it's had a huge increase, and I don't see that going going away anytime soon. So audiobooks is probably the best area to focus time on if that particular country is consuming their books in audio form. Number three, pricing. When you, whether you're using ebook like Kindle or draft to digital or even create space for the paperback, Whenever you put in the US dollar amount, it will automatically adjust and convert for the different countries. The problem is, is that's just a dollar converter. That's not necessarily what is reasonable in that country. So again, do your research. So for example, India. In India, the average ebook is about 86 rupees. But when I put my book in at $2.99, it converts to 192 rupees. So that's very, that's a lot more expensive than what they're used to paying. Therefore, I should reduce my price. That's why I'm not getting a lot of sales, is my book's just overpriced for that particular country. Same thing for Canada. In Canada, it's, you know, my $2.99 goes to 3 84 in Canada, which is still a reasonable price, but that leads me to my next pricing suggestion, and that is human nature, for whatever reason, we like numbers that end in 49 or 99 when it comes to cents. So 299, 249 looks a lot better to us than 384, which is what my book was in Canada because of the conversion. So what you do is you simply go into whatever service you're using, whether it's Kindle or CreateSpace or draft to digital go into each country and put in the amount that is relevant to that country. Not that's, you know, that's equal monetarily to your 299 because 299 is okay in the U S but 192 is not okay in India. So I for India, I reduced it down to 89 rupees and my sales in India went up. In Canada, instead of 384, I dropped it down to 349. My sales went up quite a bit actually. 
So again, you're just talking about pennies when it comes to how much you know how much of a change you're making. But in that country, that's a lot of money. So you need to again do your research. What are they averaging as far as used to paying for ebooks or pay, or paperback? <clears throat> And then make sure that it ends in if it's got if it's cents, make sure it ends in forty nine or ninety nine. And the next is keywords. Typically, especially if you're in the U.S., you're going to put the keywords that you are allotted, whether it's five or seven, depending on whether it's paperback or ebook. You're going to put it in your, you know, in your language. But if you're looking for international sales, you need to change some of those. Obviously, don't change them all, but change some of those to the country that you're that you're aiming towards, uh, to to their language. So if you're trying to increase your sales in Germany, then instead of book, you need to find the German equivalent to book. You probably don't want to use you know, Google Translate or anything like that because of, it's not, it's not that simple, to be honest. So find a translator, find someone that you know that knows that language and, and, and do that search. The other way is go on to the Amazon page for that country because each, each of those countries have their own page and search for a certain book that you know has the word book in it and see what they put so that way some of your keywords are aimed towards Germany or aimed towards France or whatever country you're you're trying to to focus on at that particular time and my last suggestion is podcasters there are podcasters all over the world now so find a podcaster or a group of podcasters that are in the country or their target audience is in the country that you're trying to increase your sales in and then reach out to them and try to get interviewed on their on their show that's it like i said i wanted to make this this pretty short and simple if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the comments below if you like the content give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down let me know what i'm doing wrong also, love to see you over at the Review Mates Facebook group. Uh, we have over 600 very active <laughs> members, and uh, you know we try to help each other out with reviews as well as just overall uh, publishing uh, ideas and encouragement. So, until next time, I'm Keith Wheeler, and remember to write right.